So first thing, it's Thursday now. So tell us how much sleep you've had since Monday. Uh, no, I haven't had much sleep at all really since uh, last week. I, I, I mean, we had a mad schedule anyway. Um, uh, Nick was coming with us. I was travelling with Nick Perso to Love Tournaments, and he was coming. And uh, then his granny died, unfortunately. And uh, um, so we booked the flights really at the last minute. And me and uh, Lucky Ginger Tony Phillips, who's a, who's a great kid, uh, went together uh, to the tournament. So we went to the Vic on um, Wednesday night, obviously. Uh, and uh, we we rushed from the Vic to uh, to Gatwick at around five o'clock in the morning. Uh, and managed somehow to miss the plane, which was going at 6.30. Uh, so it wasn't too good. We did another bottle. We had to fork over 200 quid extra for more plane tickets uh, and wait around at the airport for two hours. But I knew it was going to be a good weekend because as soon as I turned up, the first person I bumped into was Roland. Uh, I thought, well, all I need to do now is bump into Julian Thew and everything will be good. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, so th- that night I didn't really get any sleep. I slept a bit in the afternoon and then played cash all night. Uh, on Thursday until about 7am, which was a cracking game. John Duthie was having fun. And um, uh, somehow I managed to lose a little bit of money. Uh, then I got about five hours sleep and played the tournament. Um, we finished about 1am that day, the first day. I had 34,000, the average was like 22. So I was pretty pleased with getting through and I felt like I played well. Uh, and obviously the thing to do was, you know, a sensible poker player at this point would think, well, I'm playing on Saturday, it's a very big tournament, it's a very big prize money, it's all very important, I must catch up on sleep and get maximum sleep. Unfortunately, Andy Black was sitting in the cash game, uh, they were playing 25-50, uh, no limit hold'em with 100 straddle, and Andy Black had about 70,000 in front of him. Um, so I bought him for 25,000 and played until 8am. Um, at which point I thought, well, it's about time I was sensible now. Actually, no, I didn't think that. They just stopped playing poker at that time, and uh, it, was, it was time to go to bed. There wasn't a game anymore. Um, I did win a bit of money that night, um, so that was quite good. Um, and then, yeah, the other nights, I, I think Saturday night I got a bit of sleep, but Sunday I was quite excited about going back to Chip Leader, and uh, I, I went to bed at 6 and woke up at 10.45. Um, and then we played the final at 3 and it was all over by six. Um, and it was 12 o'clock the next day that I flew back. I didn't get any sleep between uh, playing the last hand and, uh, and flying back. I did manage 20 minutes in the bath on Tuesday, so that was quite nice, but the water got cold. Um, so yeah, not much sleep really. <laughs> well, talk us through what's been happening in your life since you touched down in London. Uh, I've been uh, I've been running up my phone bill. I think I should have rung Orange for a new talk plan uh, <laughs> earlier in the week. I, I already have like more minutes than anyone in the, in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, I have I have talk plan talkaholic. Uh, I think. <laughs> it's like you pay a thousand pounds a month and you get like two years worth of calls for that. Um, uh, I don't know. I've been on the phone literally for ten hours a day. Uh, Tuesday I decided not to answer any phone calls, I just dealt with texts. Uh, it's brilliant, I've been overwhelmed by the amount of people that have called me and, and texted me and uh, actually quite moved as well, it's quite, it's lovely really. Um, practically everyone that's called me or texted me is a nice person. Um, obviously some of them are complete tracks, but uh, they'll obviously know who they are. Um, no, there's, I mean there's people that I haven't really spoken to for years, and it's not like they've come out of the woodwork because I've suddenly got 800,000 euro that they'd quite fancy having themselves. Um, <laughs> it's just that we kind of lost touch for one reason or another. And uh, actually, it's really nice. I quite like catching up with people and seeing what they're up to now. And uh, um, yeah, no, it's been amazing. And uh, yeah, I had a couple of celebrations. I went to the Vic, funnily enough, uh, on Wednesday, having had no, on, on Tuesday, having had no sleep um, since winning it. Uh, uh, I didn't play poker, we, we just had a bite to eat and a few drinks and stuff. And then uh, I went there last night with the intention of playing poker. Um, but I just ended up going around talking to lots of people. And I bought um, I bought champagne for uh, the whole room and all the dealers and uh, the, the, the girls behind reception, and then the uh, cash desk and a couple of the managers and all the waitresses and stuff. So that was great, you know, everybody was happy for me. And uh, yeah, it was really good, yeah, unbelievable. And you've received a couple of gifts too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got um, I got this shirt in the post this morning, which is really good. And I'm really pleased about it, and I'll show you the back. 
It's got the Joker on the back, which used to be my nickname at school because when I smile, my mouth kind of curls up like Jack Nicholson and uh, Batman, um, which I was always really self-conscious of, and it used to make me not really smart, which is why I quite a lot of the photos at the end are just looking a bit kind of knackered and miserable and stuff. Um, it's because I don't really like it when I look like the Joker, but... Um, <laughs> Anyway, my sister got this done, which is great. She somehow managed to work out on the internet how to get the poker verdict colours. Um, and doesn't have poker verdict written on it. It's no good for TV. Uh, but it's got the winning hand on it, winning which, hand, is, yeah. which is brilliant. Um, the only downside was that the bloke delivered it at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I went to bed at half five, so I was a bit grumpy with him, but uh, <laughs> it's not really his fault. Uh, and then, oh, I've got this other thing here, which is... Um, I did an interview for the Irish Times, and uh, uh, I don't know what page it was on, but um, one of the players in the tournament, um, a lovely fellow called Norman Rad, who's um, just such a lot of fun, uh, so kindly uh, got it got it framed up for me. And he was in the Vic last night. Um, I actually autographed a couple of T-shirts for him mm-hmm. uh, in silver marker pen, which he's very excited about. Um, in fact, when we were going uh, on Thursday, Tony said to me, because I, I actually have this experience of Ireland that, um, I don't know what it is about Ireland, but I'm sort of uh, more of a kind of famous person in Ireland than I am anywhere else. I don't know whether it's because the English people are just more reserved and they don't say anything and they're just cool about it, but the Irish people just think because you've been on TV, that makes you kind of some kind of mega star. <laughs> uh, and they've seen me on a few TV poker tournaments. I mean, I went to Ireland in January and uh, maybe a hundred people that I've never met before came up and spoke to me like they were my best mate because they'd seen me on TV, <laughs> which is great. It's brilliant. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And, uh, you know, people come up and ask for your picture on, on their camera phone and stuff like that. And Tony said to me on the way, you know, what's the price on under over on the number of autographs you signed during the week? He said, will it be more or less than three? And I said, well, I want to bet maximum over because I'm going to win the thing, and then I have to sign loads of autographs. Um, and actually, I did, so there you go. Um, but yeah, I did sign a few autographs, actually, and, uh, and a hell of a lot of camera phone pictures, which were mostly from sort of middle-aged blokes, which is kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> there you go.